another legendary fusion champion to complete in raid shadow legends so here we go again is this guy worth it apparently he hits really hard apparently some of the epic champions in here are pretty decent as well you can get some extra copies so i want to help you guys determine if you have what it takes to complete this can you do it as free to play and also caution you guys on a few events and tournaments the milestones how it possibly will be laid out for us so that you don't get screwed by this or more importantly that you can guarantee you'll get this champion all right so we're gonna break that down in the free-to-play fusion plan so let's get going So let's first start with a quick overview of the champions you can get from this fusion. Number one, Hurendig, our guy here with two AoEs, decrease defense, decrease accuracy, you have weakened HP burn, fully depletes the target terminator, then this turns into an AoE if the attack is critical, all right? Then you reduce the cool, cooldown, sorry, of stasis strike if you kill somebody with the A1. So again, I think this guy can almost be your dedicated uh, farmer in a sense, right? Also great nuker for the arena. So certainly go for him if you're lacking that kind of champion. Next, we can get a copy of Scathix over here which has one of the best skills in the game removes all debuffs from all allies then places a block debuffs and a shield buff on all allies for two turns only like a handful of other champions in the game can do this you have cardial hawkorn smash lord sky touch shaman and our trusty spirit host so certainly try and get this guy as well if you're lacking that kind of champion and then we have i believe in the skinwalkers we can get a copy of this guy right here hofori's i believe the tusked uh this guy basically has a revive which is very hard to obtain for the skinwalkers i think like rain beast is the only other guy in here that can do this so this guy is a game changer for faction wars all right so now that we have that covered let's go see just how many resources i have saved up as we are starting this and that will hopefully help you guys better understand next time what you might want to have to make this a lot easier on yourself here's all the energy and double xp i have just sitting in the inbox i've been hoarding this for a while now let's quickly check out uh uh, I do have some chickens, obviously, right? So that is kind of easy for uh, that part. Books, we don't really care about that. For the potions, I did farm a couple ahead of time. As you guys will see in a second on the plan, I do tell you exactly how many potions you need to complete this. So next time, if you don't want to have to spend extra energy towards farming the potions, while you're doing the fusion make sure you have this ahead of time you can also see that i have a lot of silver a lot of gems so overall i'm gonna say i'm relatively well prepared i'm a little bit low on the shards but for example with the champion chase tournament i can always get away with uh fusing sorry a few old champions that i've been hoarding for a while right so this guy right here is like 500 points and i believe these two here are about 50 points of pop so i have about 600 points which means basically that's like one sacred shard right so instead when it all come to the champion chase tournament i might only have one extra sacred shard that i need to open to get all the points get that rare champion and then move on to uh this fusion right here now let's go check out the plan which at first glance i'm gonna say looks relatively easy is plarium finally listening to us are they finally realizing that like there's a limit to how hard you can make these before we go on a burnout and we start to lose interest i've seen a lot of uh players recently even content creators say they're they're done with the fusions right so you know it is a problem but hopefully this is an example of them trying to tone it down a little bit or at least stop increasing the difficulty all right so if you guys haven't seen this before basically up here is the potions this is exactly how many you need over here is the daily breakdown uh the color color coded numbers at the top are the potion keeps and then the color coded uh champion names right here are basically the affinity at the bottom here i say your daily breakdown roughly on each day how many rares you're going to get right for a total of 16 for you to do all the fusions i don't really talk about the extra epic champions which is scathics on the summon rush and uh, we have a Hophoris here on the champion training event all right but let's first start by breaking down these events real quick to see how they compare to the previous ones and what you might expect in terms of resources uh, that you will need to complete this here is the summon rush for example where we have the epic champion at 3,000 points but it might be at 3,500 points because this is an epic champion so do be careful with that a little bit i am saying 25 void shards because that's pretty much all i have left to allow me to reach those points 
Personally, I'm not going to go for a copy of Scathix. I don't need that guy. I'm done with uh, Faction Wars, and uh, I have other champions that can fill that role. So I'm going to stick to the first milestone, which should be at the 1,000 points. Then we have the Dungeon Divers event. We're going to look at not the first one, but the second one, because there's two milestones in there. So I'm using these exact values. So do be careful with that, as uh, you will need, obviously, a lot of energy to reach the second milestone and also a quick fyi if you're doing stage 24 dungeon versus stage 25 dungeon you get less points less points for the tournaments and less points for the dungeon divers event which means you need to technically spend more energy to reach the milestones so you might want to stick to stage 20 if you're on a budget all right let's go back to the chart then we have for the champion training event this one is a little bit different in the sense that we have one epic champion and only two rare champions so for that i had to look at the two previous fusions which was uh, Pixnul and Astralon. So here's an example of milestones with two rare champions, 3,200 points, 7,150. But then here's an example of the epic champion also added in there. That would be at about 12,750 points. This is a whole lot of points. If you push for this, you might have a hard time for the champion training tournament. So do be careful with that. Again, if you don't need Hoforis, then you don't need to push all of the way there. Now let's check out the tournaments, which should all be pretty similar to the previous ones. Here's the example of the champion chase tournament where we had an epic champion in there. This time we don't. 1150 points for the rare. That has been pretty standard for a long time. As for the four dungeons, here's an example of a spider tournament. The points can vary between 950 points all the way up to 2050 points but again going back to my point about the drop rates if you're farming stage 24 over stage 20 you will be getting a different amount of points so do be careful with that because it will be a little bit more expensive in the amount of energy and then finally we have a champion training tournament which we do not always have in this case uh or last time sorry it was 3100 points so in this case i'm gonna say probably very similar all right so if we add all of this up I'm saying roughly 24,000 energy. This is higher than usual because I am using stage 24 as my um, reference point. I will be farming stage 24. I don't mind spending a little bit more energy. I don't even mind spending some gems because I technically will get better gear out of this. As for the silver, pretty standard. I'm saying about 17 million. For the shards, 25 void shards maximum. If I want a copy of that epic, about two sacreds for the champion chase, although I do have a fusion of a lego that i can do which will reduce the amount of shards that i need so this is kind of like my worst case scenario as for the potions they're all broken down over here so 528 total brews i always say about 250 for each fusion as for the chickens it's a hit or miss if I'm stuck and I really desperately need a couple uh, extra like uh, chickens for this that I don't have saved up as, as food already, then sure, I might do that. But for this time, I pretty much like I'm sitting on a ton of food. All right. I've, I've been sort of hoarding all these extra rare champions. So I don't think I'm going to have any major issues on that front either. OK, so overall, there you have it, guys. That is the plan. I want to have your thoughts in the comments below. Are you excited about this champion? Are you going for him? Are you trying for some of the epics as well or not at all and again come back check up on the updated version to make sure you don't miss anything thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later